Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition on Windows 11 operating system. So Developer Edition is a fully feature edition, uh, which is equivalent to Enterprise Edition. So before proceed to install, let me show my uh, device and Windows specification. I am using latest Windows 11 Pro and uh, 13th generation microprocessor. Okay, so uh, here you can see that I have already downloaded the uh, developer edition ISO file. I am going to mount this file. So in previously, I uploaded a video how to download the ISO file from Microsoft website. Uh, please uh, watch that video. Okay, now let me uh, start the uh, setup. So SQL Server Installation Center has started. So in planning, uh, I am going to show you System Configuration Checker. System Configuration Checker. So this will check what are the prerequests. Yes, see all the prerequests are passed here. So these are the pre-requests uh, required by developer edition. So all the pre-requests are passed. Now let me go to installation. So here you can see that new SQL Server standard installation link is there. Click that one. So it's asking for which edition. Uh, so let it be developer edition. So we are going to install developer edition only. Click next button, accept the license terms, accept the license terms, click the next button. So as of now, I am not going to update uh, SQL Server, I am skipping the update. Okay, uh, these are the install rules, so install rules are passed. So Windows firewall, uh, firewall is showing warning, so that's not a problem uh, because we are installing a local machine only. Click next. So I am uh, disabling Azure extension because I am not having uh, Azure account. So feature selection, I am going to install all the features. So lots of features are there compared to uh, Express Edition. Uh, click the next button. So here, uh, instance name is MS SQL Server. So this is the default instance name. MS SQL Server is a default instance name. Let it be as it is. So I am not going to rename the instance. MS SQL Server is the instance name. So Polybase uh, port range, let it be as it is. I am not touching the Polybase ports. So these are the SQL Server services uh, going to be installed, uh, including uh, SQL Server, Database Engine, Analysis Service, Integration Service, Polybase Engine, SQL Server Browser, Full Text Service. So collection, I am not changing. Uh, let it remain as it is. So click the next button. So Database Engine Configuration, uh, Server Configuration tab. So I am checking Mixed Mode Authentication, SQL Server plus Windows Authentication. So I am providing password for the uh, user called SA. So SA is a uh, System Administrator account, nothing but it's a DBA. Next, I am going to add a current user, so uh, which is uh, very mandatory here. Next, uh, data directory tab. So this is the directory where uh, all the data, that is uh, table, store, procedure, functions, triggers, everything are stored here in this data directory. Data directory and backup directory. Uh, I am not going to change the data directory. TempDB settings remain as it is. So it's a basic installation only. So 
maximum degree of parallelism uh, let it be as it is memory also i am not going to touch let it be as it is by default uh, sql server will tune uh, by itself file stream i am going to enable the file stream so this is the windows share name for file stream click the next button analysis service configuration let it be in tabular mode itself so data directory also same like uh, previous one so let it be same next i am going to add the current user click the button add current user okay that's it click next button integration service scale out configuration master node so this port number 8391 uh, remain as it is i am not going to change so we need a ssl certificate for that create a new ssl certificate uh, so it will create one self signed ssl certificate uh, next integration service scale out scale out node remain as it is next button so it's ready to install now so these are the features and settings of SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition. So you can uh, view this summary before proceed to install. So everything is okay. Uh, click the install button. So installation is started. So SQL Server 2022 developer edition installation is successful. So these are the components or features uh, installed. Master data services, analysis service, integration services, polybase services, etc. So you can view the summary of installation in log file here. Okay, I am closing the installation center. Everything is completed. So now uh, next step, I am going to install SQL Server management tools, but it, uh, that is a separate download. So download links for SQL Server management studio I have provided in the description of this video. Uh, before that, I am going to show you uh, the start menu. So these are the components uh, installed after SQL Server developer edition installation. So now uh, let me go to uh, all apps. So all apps. Uh, see here, Microsoft SQL Server 2002. So okay, around uh, six to seven entries are there. So okay, now I'm going to click SQL Server 2002 Configuration Manager. So these are the SQL Server services after installation. Around uh, 9 to 10 services are there. So some services are started automatically. So if you want other services also, you can start uh, manually or automatically. So basic, basic mandatory services are started. So next I am going to enable uh, named pipes and TCP IP because if you want to connect this uh, SQL Server instance out of the box means you need to enable this protocol. So I am enabling this protocol. For example, if you want to connect uh, from virtual machine to host machine means this protocol should be enabled. So in LAN and WAN also uh, we need this uh, protocol should be enabled. Okay, that's all about configuration manager. Next, uh, I'm going to install SQL Server Management Studio. So SQL Server Management Studio 19 and above only uh, can able to connect SQL Server uh, 2022. 
so previous version of management studio uh, we cannot able to connect it so make sure that you have downloaded the latest uh, version of uh, sql server management studio so uh, azure data studio also will be installed along with sql server management studio okay uh, you can see in start menu sql server profiler analysis service deployment uh, wizard and sql server management studio so some of the components are got installed new components let me go here microsoft sql server tools So database uh, engine tuning advisor also got installed. So okay, let me start SQL Server Management Studio 19. So now I am going to connect to SQL Server 2022 developer edition. So I am going to browse. I am going to browse for the instance. See here it's showing in drop down menu so this is the instance name here please note that uh, i am just giving the instance name sorry server name i am not giving instance name because i have provided the default instance name that is ms sql server is a default instance name so by just giving the server name i am able to connect via sql server management studio please note that if you give some other instance name you need to specify the instance name that is machine name slash instance name. If you give default uh, instance name, MS SQL Server means just provide the machine name. So you can be able to connect directly. So now I can able to connect to the database uh, in SQL Server Management Studio. Now I am going to create one uh, database so I am creating on database so these are the database files and log file it will be located to the directory, data directory okay so people database got created next I am going to create one table So I am giving some column name, name and age. So I am I am giving small table only, just for demo purpose only. So name the table. Give some name to the table. Yes, uh, refresh. So you can see I created a person table. So let me insert some record here. I'm opening the query editor. So in query editor, I'm uh, inserting one record. Yes, I can able to insert the record. Let me select from table. Yes, I can able to select the record. Okay, so that's all about uh, SQL Server Management Studio connectivity. Now, uh, next I am going to show you how to connect uh, SQL Server 2022 developer edition in from command prompt windows command prompt using sql cmd utility so i'm opening windows command prompt so now what i'm going to do i am going to just type sql cmd that's it type sql cmd because i have provided the default uh, sql server name so i am able to connect directly 
please note down this point. So I am executing my first query. Uh, select name from uh, sister databases will give you the list of databases available. So I am going to people database. So in people database, I am going to get a list of the tables uh, available in the people database. So person is the table available, select certain person. Yes, I can able to select the record. Let me insert one record. Yes, I can able to insert. Let me select the table. Yes, everything is fine. So, um, that's all about uh, SQL CMD utility. So make sure that if you are give provided some other instance name, you need to uh, give full connection string as I shown in the So next I am going to connect uh, Azure Data Studio. So go to start menu, open the Azure Data Studio. So you can connect uh, locally installed uh, SQL Server uh, 2020 developer instance in Azure Data Studio also. So click new connection. So in right side you can see connection properties are there connection name uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So before that I am clearing the previous connections. Okay, under server uh, provide a server name alone. Server name is mission name. Mission name alone I am providing. Instance name I am not giving. As you know that MS SQL Server is a default instance name. So authentication type SQL login. So username SA. Password I am providing uh, SA user's password. So no problem. Uh, database will be default. So anyway you can mention the database also. No problem. So trust server certificate true. Okay, connect. So you can see that uh, SQL Server 2000 developer edition uh, instances got connected in Azure Data Studio. So you can, you can do all the basic DML operations uh, in Azure Data Studio also. Let me show you how to uh, select the table how to insert right click edit data so okay, I can insert directly okay save the table okay now uh, execute the query once again yes new record is got reflected so this is the way you can connect Azure Data Studio. Yes, everything is fine. Uh, you can disconnect if you don't want. So I'm disconnecting. So SQL Server 2000 developer edition installation on Windows 11 is successful.